Turn you upside down. Yeah, I'm having a bad day. Sorry to hear that. Could you hand me that glass of milk there? Sure. Could you drink it for me? Jane, why don't you come down and drink it yourself? Come on down. Ooh. Easy, easy. Ooh. She went to aerobics class. She said she had to work off some anger. I expect her back in November. She was pretty mad, huh? Mad as a hat rat. <laughs> Let me give you some advice, Ben. After hanging upside down for six hours, you begin to see things differently. <laughs> and I think I can tell you what your problem is. You're afraid to let Laura read your book. <laughs> And I think I can tell you why you're afraid. Why, Jane? Oh, God, it went right out of my head. <laughs> Maybe if I get back up on that thing, it may come back to me. Jane, I need to talk. And I may as well talk to you, because I know you won't retain it. <laughs> Shoot. The thing about the book is, I'm afraid Laura is going to see things in there that I don't want her to see. It's not like my other books. It started out as a detective story, and it somehow turned into a love story about this incredible woman who's just like Laura. Jane, sometimes it's, it's easier to write things than to say them. I mean, I've, I've written a lot of things about the way I feel about Laura that I haven't even said to her. Why are you telling me? Why don't we go tell Laura? Uh, I'm afraid of scaring her off. Ben, she lives with me. <laughs> she doesn't scare easily. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep on breathing, tummy's tight. doing a lot of thinking. Laura, I want you to read the book. No, thank you. Oh, please read the book, Laura. Six, seven, hey, I'm having a stroke, too. Three, four. Ben, oh. I don't get it. A couple of hours ago, it was too personal for me to read. What happened? Jane and I had a little talk, and I came to my senses. Jane who? Your sister. The student of human nature. Three, two, Laura, I know that you think that my book is the most important thing in the world to me. But you're wrong. You are. I guess it's time that I told you that. It's all in the book. Read it. Oh, Ben, just knowing that you want me to is enough. I, I, I don't need to. Oh, it, it really isn't enough. Oh, but it is. Oh, but it isn't. I want you to read the book, Laura. Ben, I don't have to. The book is insignificant. Laura, read the book or I'm never talking to you again. Okay, okay, I'll read the book. I'll be in the locker room. Wait for me here. Okay. Look, this isn't a meditation class. Come on, get your legs up. <laughs> God, I hope she reads that. <laughs> 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Jane, I forgot to breathe. Oh, it's an easy mistake, Ben. I forget for days at a time. <laughs> ben, are you all right? Oh, Laura, you want to go get my left lung? It's over there in the corner. We had a little disagreement. Let me help you up. No, wait. First, I want to know how you like the book. Oh, Ben. Oh, you hated it. Ben! Oh, I knew I shouldn't have let you read it. Ben, I loved it. It was smart, clever, exciting, sexy. 
sort of like the guy who wrote it. Yeah. What I don't understand is, do you write the cliff notes now, or does someone else do that later? Cliff does that later. Oh. <laughs> Jane. Thanks. You're welcome. Now that you've read the book, do you know how I feel about you? I think I have a pretty good idea. All the characters were named Laura, <laughs> and it was set in Lauraville. <laughs> ben, you shouldn't have been afraid to show me the book. I loved it, and I loved what it said about us. Did it scare you? A little, but mostly it made me happy. I hope this makes you happy, too. I wasn't going to show it to you unless you liked the book. It's the dedication. To Mom. What? <laughs> that was in case you didn't like it. This is the real one. To Laura. My life is an open book for you to read. Thanks, doll. Ben. Tonight, starting at 9, it's a lifetime hot Friday night. First, Catherine Oxenberg struts her stuff in swimsuit on the Lifetime Evening Movie, followed by a party of one with the queen of stand-up, Elaine Boozler. Then, join Phil Collins, Elton John, and the top names in rock for Prince's Trust Rock Gala. Now, stay tuned for L.A. Law, next. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. <laughs>